sitting here today with Dr. Thomas Barnes, a uh, cosmetic surgeon in Newport Beach, California. Dr. Barnes is, uh, well, he's, way before there was a show on Bravo, Dr. Barnes was infamous for, or not infamous, he was famous for working on Real Housewives of Orange County. And when I say Real Housewives, I'm not talking about four rich women sitting up in the hills. I'm talking about teachers, bankers, accountants, real housewives who come to Dr. Barnes to have real problems solved. And today, because of the Academy Awards, we're, we're sitting there thinking, if I had a special event, I have a wedding or I have a hot a special night on the town, what would I do? And if I came to Dr. Barnes or you just want to give me some advice, what could you do to fix me up? if I just had a week's notice for something special? Well, I, what I'd like to do is turn around and make it uh, even a little more exciting than that and say that I also have people on both sides of the camera that come down from Hollywood. It's only 40 minutes away. And uh, talk a little bit about the red carpet as well, if that's okay with you, Keith. Absolutely. In terms of, you know, what is it that all women and men want to do? If they're going to go down a red carpet or they're going to go black tie party or go out to a cocktail party, what is it they, they want? They want to appear youthful, radiant. Uh, they want to project a, uh, a happy attitude or a charismatic attitude. They want to look good in the clothes that they may have spent a lot of money for or maybe rent a tuxedo like, uh, like Keith might do. And overall, they just want to have a great package, a great look a great feel about their skin, great contours. So what can they do to tune themselves up for a big event? Well, what I want to start with was what if they have like one to three days beforehand to tune up? Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about skin care. Okay, sometimes we can do something like dermaplaning our estheticians and take some of that excess hair off the face, and that makes the face look a lot better. What else can we do? Well, people know about tanning salons, but why would you go to a tanning salon a day or two before? Because all ladies know that if you get a little bit of inflammation of the skin, a little bit of swelling under the, uh, within the skin, that effaces little lines and wrinkles and makes everybody look younger, if you've ever noticed when you've had a sunburn. So, point is, you can go have a little tanning session. Just one makes the skin look more radiant. I'm not saying it's healthy. I'm just saying these are little tricks of the trade in Hollywood. What else can you do? If somebody has a little giant pore or large pores around the face, guess what you can do in Hollywood? They take a little super glue and they fill up some of those pores. They just pop it out later. Because ladies can put makeup on those giant pores, they just show up more. Let's move on. Okay, so that's a little bit of basic skin care. We all know about microdermabrasion and so forth a couple days before. What about a little bit of the non-invasive stuff to make the skin look better? A little photofacial session a couple days before can make the skin look better as well. We have other non-invasive procedures from Cineron with their, uh, with their Refirm and their Matrix IR. These are great non-invasive procedures that also give a little inflammation to the skin, which make it look better and more youthful. If you have three to seven days before an event, well, then we can move into fillers. We all know where we can put fillers, don't we? And even Botox, because some people respond to Botox in two or three days, make people look more youthful and uh, more... Uh, actually charismatic when they project, because people who feel good inside project better outside. Now, if we have a week or more, then we can get into little mini procedures, tighten up the neck with a little uh, liposculpture, smart lipo, other body contours. But I understand you have another doctor who's going to address the larger procedures when you have more time. So that's a little update, Keith. I just want to say the skin looks good, the body contours look good, but probably most important is the attitude that an individual projects. I love it. Let's just throw one little curveball. What if I wanted to get a little tuck and I had maybe two weeks before an event? Well, if you wanted to get a little tuck, because I just did a, a live segment on Good Day LA. I also did a live segment on the Today Show a little while back with Matt Lauer. And I would do my little uh, tummy shrink lift or neck shrink lift. And what is that? I numb it in a tumescent way, awake. Uh, I go in. Very often these are people that are told elsewhere that they need a lower facelift. Well, what I can do is a little liposculpture technique I do, and then I add my smart lipo, uh, MPX uh, smart lipo, and uh, I actually heat the tissue of the whole lower face, the neck, and I can get an amazing result in tightening. And very often, uh, we can avoid cutting surgery for a lower facelift. I'm doing those procedures. Uh, I did 20 of them in the last three weeks. Very popular, less money, less risk. Uh, good results. So these are procedures I'm moving into, the less invasive. Although I do a full facelift, people don't want that today and they don't want the downtime. No, I agree. I love it. 
So you're saying two, three weeks, and I could be uh, presentable after a procedure like that? Well, I would say I have people uh, in, within five to seven days. They're working in two to three days. I also right. can do my shrink lift, the same technique of the upper arms. Uh, for ladies that are going in a gown, very often they want it, the anterior axilla. Uh, I can also do the same technique for lipomas. Uh, so there's a lot we can do uh, to get people out there in two to three days now. You don't need two, two weeks of, uh, of downtime. Great. Hey, thank you very much for your time, Doctor, and we'll be calling you again.